Lori Lutz and I am a graduate student at Oregon State University and today I'm going to be describing to you some symptoms we see associated with Little Cherry disease and Western X disease. The symptoms, the visual symptoms are indistinguishable on the tree and require molecular testing to distinguish them. But here you can see a variety of symptoms. What we see associated with this disease are varying degrees of severity and varying degrees of little fruit. So here we're looking at a Skeena cultivar and just to compare this is a healthy ripened fruit and here we have four different variations of what a little fruit might look like and even though some of them may look more mature even the ones that are closer to the fully ripened cherry they lack sugar content and are not um, sellable. The important thing here is that if you are seeing these symptoms to reach out to your local extension agent to have diagnostic testing done to see if the symptoms you're seeing are associated with these two different diseases. Little cherry disease is caused by the pathogens little cherry virus 1 and little cherry virus 2. Little cherry virus 1 does not have a known vector, but little cherry virus 2 is known to be vectored by the grape and apple mealybugs, and also Western X. So Western X is caused by the Western X phytoplasma and is a specialized bacteria, and this pathogen is vectored by leafhoppers.